that, oh, it's going to be such a special lesson for us today. You know what? We are going to be talking about the heart because this week is Valentine's week. This is the time of year when we make cards and give gifts to show people our love for them. And guess what? God gave us the greatest gift ever. He showed his love for us by giving us, you guessed it, Jesus. That's right. God sent his son, Jesus, for us to show his great, great love. Hey, Miss Ashley, before we begin, I have something for you. For me? Oh, Levi, how sweet. Here you go. Oh, it's a red, shiny heart. Yeah, happy Valentine's. I love you. Oh, I love you, Levi. And friends, we love you. We have a Valentine for you to open, too. Would you like to open it? inside. Yes, we drew a picture in the snow. Do you see there's a cross, a heart, and a U. The cross stands for Jesus. So Jesus, and then the heart stands for love, loves. The U stands for you. Jesus loves you. Jesus does love you, friends. Let's sing Jesus Loves Me, and then we'll praise and worship Jesus this morning. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves us. Let's praise him and sing some more. Let everything that God made say thank you, Lord. Let everything that God made say thank you, Lord. Let everything that God made say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for making me. <laughs> the monkeys in the jungle say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> the monkeys in the jungle say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> the monkeys in the jungle say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> thank you, Lord, for making me. Say thank you, Lord. Let everything that God made say thank you, Lord. Let everything that God made say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for making me. Rawr. The bears in the woods say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Rawr, rawr, rawr. The bears in the woods say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ra, ra, ra. The bears in the woods say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ra, ra, ra. Thank you, Lord, for making me. Oh, let everything that God made say thank you, Lord. Let everything that God made say thank you, Lord. Let 
had everything that God made, say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for making me. Chomp, 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 chomp. The gators in the swamp say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Chomp, chomp, chomp. The gators in the swamp say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Chomp, chomp, chomp. The gators in the swamp say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Thank you, Lord, for making me. Oh, let everything that God made say thank you, Lord. Let everything that God made say thank you, Lord. Let everything that God made say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for making me. God, you are my God, you are my God, I'll follow you. God, you are my God, you are my God, I'll follow you. I'll get quiet and read your word, read your word every day. I'll open my heart to hear from you, hear from you every day. I worship you in all that I do, all that I do every day. God, you are my God, you are my God, I'll follow you. God, you are my Get quiet and read your word, read your word every day. I'll open my heart to hear from you, hear from you every day. I'll worship you in all that I do, all that I do every day. God, you are my God, you are my Wow, that was great praise to Jesus. Hey, Miss Ashley, I was wondering, can we play a game before our Bible story? Pretty please, with sugar on top? A game? Well, sure, Levi, I love games. And you love games too, don't you, friends? What sort of game did you have in mind, Levi? Well, I was thinking about my favorite game. Levi says. Levi says, isn't that kind of like Simon says? Yep, you're right. Oh, I love this game. It's called Levi Says. So when I say Levi Says and I tell you to do something, then I want you to do it, okay? Kind of like this. Levi Says, touch your nose. Where's your nose? Hey, great job. You're fast learners. Hmm, Levi says, touch your ears. Where's your ears? Where's your ears? There's our ears. Oh, good job. Levi says, touch your toes. Where are your toes? Levi says, touch your eyes. Where's your eyes? Yes, there's our eyes. Oh, 
I see you. Good job. Levi says, touch your heart. And where is our heart? Where's our heart? Yes, here's our heart. Good job. Hey, great job. Didn't they do great, Miss Ashley? Levi, this is so much fun. What a great idea. You know, we could use this game to help us learn our new Bible verse by doing the motions that we do in our verse. Friends, why don't you try repeating after Miss Ashley? We'll play Miss Ashley Says this time. Miss Ashley Says, show me your muscles. Oh, good. We'll show our strength, our muscles. Miss Ashley Says, make a shield. Good job, Miss Ashley says, touch your heart. Yeah, there was our heart. Miss Ashley says, do a thumbs up for help. Help, Jesus is our help. Very good, let's do it again even faster. Miss Ashley says, make muscles. Miss Ashley says, make a shield. Miss Ashley says, touch your heart. Miss Ashley says, put a thumbs up, help. Yeah, <laughs> really good. Now let's put those motions together with our words for our new verse. That will really help us remember. Let's point up, repeat after me. Let's point to the Lord. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him. My heart trusts in him. And he helps me. And he helps me. Psalm 28, 7. Yeah, that was great, friends. The Lord is our strength and our shield. My heart trusts in him. And he helps me. Jesus helps us. Now let's open today's Bible story and hear about a time when Jesus was there to help. He helped heal somebody who was sick just by using his words and giving his command. Miss Ashley has out her Bibles. And this story is in Matthew and Luke in our Bible. Now, do you remember where Jesus was in our story last time? Jesus was up on the mountainside. He was up on the mountain, wasn't he? And Jesus was teaching the people. He was telling them things like, do not worry, right? He was teaching them how God is there for us and how God cares for us and gives us what we need. Well, when Jesus came down from the mountain, the people were following him. The people wanted to listen with their ears and hear what Jesus was teaching. And Jesus was helping people who were sick or who were hurting. He was making them all better. Jesus walked and went from place to place, from town to town, and the people followed him. Well, Jesus went to a town called Capernaum. And when Jesus got to Capernaum, guess what? There was a soldier, and the soldier came to see Jesus. And the soldier said to Jesus, Help, my helper, my servant is at home and he is hurting. He's hurt. He can't walk. He can't use his legs. He's paralyzed. When Jesus heard that the man was paralyzed and his legs didn't work, he couldn't use his legs and he was hurting, Jesus said to the soldier, I will go and heal him. I'll go make him better. And the soldier said to Jesus, Oh, Lord, I don't deserve for you to come to my house. I'm not good enough for you to come to my house. But if you say the words, 
I know my servant will be healed. He'll be all better if you say it. See, the soldier knew that when he said something, he gave a command that the people under him, his helpers, would do it. And so the soldier knew that if Jesus said to be healed, that his servant would be healed. He would get all better. Jesus said, I have not seen somebody have this much faith and trust me this much in all of Israel. Jesus said to the soldier, go and it will be done just as you believed, just as you thought. Jesus knew that the man, the soldier, trusted Jesus with all his heart. And Jesus loved that that soldier trusted him. And Jesus wanted to help his helper, the servant, to get all better. And here's what's so cool. When Jesus said, go and it will be done, right then, the man who was back home, who couldn't walk and he couldn't wiggle and use his legs. Can you wiggle your legs? He could. Jesus made him better right then just by using his powerful, strong words. Wow, friends. Jesus healed the soldier's helper. He did it just with his words. Jesus wasn't there where the soldier's helper was hurting and sick. But Jesus could speak his words and help him get all better. And the soldier believed that. The soldier trusted Jesus with all his heart. Guess what? We can trust Jesus with all our hearts too. Jesus loves us. He is there to be our strength and our shield and our help. So our hearts can trust in him. Let's pray and thank Jesus for that. Let's close our eyes and bow our heads. Jesus, thank you that our hearts can trust you and that we can love you with all our hearts the way you love us. Thank you that you made the man all better with your powerful words. We love you and we thank you, Jesus. Amen. Boys and girls, Levi and Miss Ashley hope you have a great week celebrating love. Hey, when you tell somebody this week, I love you, why don't you say, Jesus loves you too? Yeah, because Jesus loves everyone. We hope you have a happy Valentine's. Jesus loves you and Miss Ashley and Levi do too. Bye-bye. Oh, I know.